Meditations for Every Day by Father Andrew of the Society of the Divine Compassion. Monday after Advent 3, the fullness of time. When the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his Son. Galatians 4, verse 4. When our Lord came to this earth in what St. Paul calls the fullness of time, it was not only the right psychological moment when the world was united in the great Roman Empire, speaking more or less the same language and at peace, so that travelers could travel in comparative safety. All this made it an extraordinarily good moment for the dissemination of a great gospel, but it was also the moment of the world's great need. The old pagan religions had altogether ceased to satisfy. Pagan morality had become extraordinarily corrupt. And just when the world was groping in darkness and stricken with wounds, Christ came. The world needed him. And God in the incarnation found a way to come to the world. As we think of the present state of the world from that point of view of an ordinary man, it is not at all a hopeful situation, but from the point of view of a Christian, we know that man's extremity is God's opportunity, and God himself will come in his own way. We are not sufficient for the situation, but God certainly is, and he will give us the power to behave in such a way as to give him glory and reveal love to our neighbor. There is no sort of guarantee that life will mechanically develop into beauty, that you and I, left to ourselves, will evolve into sancti sanctity. Our hope is not in ourselves, but in him. In his own hidden way, he enters into our life, in the midst of our darkness, pain, and temptation. Let us not doubt that he is sufficient for our situation, that he is saving us perhaps all unknown to ourselves, as he was the world's savior, though the world knew him not.